Pikachu and friends in Storytime Adventures. Choo Choo, Cha Cha, and Baby Taku were playing in the house. Suddenly, a big spider came by. Yikes! Spider! <laughs> Calm down, boys. I know you're frightened, but... If you calm down and think, you will come up with a way to make the spider go away. Just like Freddy the Ox did when he met the lion in the forest. Huh? Freddy the Ox? Lion? Yes. Let me tell you the story. And so, Choo Choo began her story. Freddy was an ox. He worked for a farmer. He helped the farmer plow his fields. When Freddy grew old, the farmer took him to a forest. Freddy, you've worked very hard. You must enjoy your days now. This forest is full of sweet green grass. Would you like to live here now, my friend? Or would you like to live on the farm? I'd like to live in the forest, farmer. I've been on the farm for too long. All right then, go ahead. But you must remember this, Freddy. The forest isn't always safe. If you ever feel afraid, you must stay calm. That will help you think and save yourself from trouble. The farmer gave Freddy a poncho as a gift. And Freddy went into the forest. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye. Moo. Ah, the forest is really beautiful. But I must find myself a place that will keep me safe from the sun and the rain. A place that I can call my home. Soon, Freddy came across an empty cave. It was right next to some leafy trees. Hmm, this cave looks cozy. It must have belonged to an animal who has now left the forest. I think I will stay here. So, Freddy made the cave his home. Most of the animals in the forest were nice, and Freddy liked them. Hello, dear. Good morning, rabbit. My name is Freddy. I'm an ox. Moo! But there was a greedy jackal in the forest, too. He saw Freddy and grew very curious. Ooh, there's a new animal in the cave. He looks scary. Achoo! Yikes! Oh, it's just an old ox in a poncho. <laughs> Silly me. He looks delicious. Mm. I must find some way to eat him. Mm. That jackal is watching me. I better be careful of him. He'll want to eat me the moment he has the chance. One day, while Freddy was resting in the cave, he heard a lion's roar. Huh? Freddy peeped out of a hole and saw a lion. He looked ferocious and was walking towards the cave. Ah, home sweet home. I'm finally going back to my old cave. I'll rest for a while, and then I'll look for something delicious to eat. Huh? Is this the lion's cave? 
Freddy was a little frightened when he realized that he had been staying in the lion's cave. He was also sure that the lion would eat him the moment he saw him. But he remembered the farmer's words and decided to stay calm. You must stay calm if you ever feel afraid. That will help you think better and save yourself from trouble. I will stay calm and think of what I must do to save myself. And so, Freddy stayed calm. That helped him come up with a plan. I'll use these leaves to disguise myself. And I'll put these twigs in my mouth so that the lion thinks I have big teeth. When the lion reached the cave, Freddy peeped out and pretended to be a ferocious animal. He also pretended that there was someone in the cave with him. Brother, come quickly. Come and see the juicy lion that's coming towards our cave. We won't have to hunt for our dinner tonight, because our dinner is coming right to us. <laughs> huh? There are some strange animals in my cave. I better run. The lion was frightened when he heard and saw Freddy. And he began to run away. But the lion soon bumped into the jackal. Ow! Oh. Mr. Lion, you're back in the forest. But why are you so afraid? The lion told the jackal about what he had seen. There are two new scary animals in my cave. They are brothers, and they are planning to eat me. The jackal laughed at the lion. <laughs> there is just one animal in your cave, Mr. Lion. He's an old ox, and he's not one bit scary. Huh? An old ox? Yes, Mr. Lion. Let's go to your cave. You can eat the ox and share some of your tasty meal with me, too. But what if the ox isn't an ox? And what if he tries to eat me? You'll run away, Jackal, and leave me all by myself. And you may eat the ox all by yourself, Mr. Lion. So I have an idea. Let's tie our tails and go to the cave. That way, you'll be sure that I won't run away. And I'll be sure that you don't eat the ox by yourself. Hmm. And so, the lion and the jackal tied their tails together and went to the cave. Freddy saw the lion and the jackal coming. Oh. So the lion has come back with the jackal. The jackal must have told him all about me. I must stay calm again and think of how I can save myself once more. The moment the jackal and the lion reached the cave, Freddy came out. He started to scold the jackal like he knew him very well. Jackal, what's wrong with you? I told you to bring two lions, one for me and one for my brother. But you've only brought this one skinny lion? He won't be enough to fill both our stomachs, so we'll have to eat you as well, Jackal. Right after we eat the lion. Achoo! <gasps> Yikes! They're going to eat me! The lion believed Freddy's story. You tricked me, Jackal. No! No, wait! And then the lion started to run as fast as he could. And since the jackal's tail was tied to the lion's, he was dragged Ow. away. Ow. 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 <laughs> Freddy was glad that he had stayed calm and saved himself that day. He never let himself get worried again. And he spent the rest of his days very happily. Choo Choo's story helped Cha-Cha and Baby Taku calm down. Come on, Cha-Cha and Baby Taku. Take a deep breath. Count till five. 
What you can do to get rid of the spider. I have an idea. We can open the window so that the spider crawls out. And so, Cha Cha opened the window and let the spider outside. Yay! <laughs> because of Choo Choo's story, Cha-Cha and Baby Taku always remembered to stay calm when they were frightened. And staying calm always helped them to think more clearly. Ice cream! Ice cream! Sweet, yummy ice cream! That's Mr. Icy! He's our friend! He sells ice cream at the park! Many birds lived in the garden, and the snake loved to eat their eggs. Nom, 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 nom. There were also some turtles in the lake, giving the baby monkeys rides on their backs. And the baby monkeys were giving the turtles and fish fresh lettuce and juicy fruits to eat. The rabbit grew very angry. He scolded the elephant. Mr. Elephant, you better stop treating us rabbits so badly. 